dire team back. Ladies and germs, and welcome back. It's more of an action at the Mars EV Total League 2016. And, uh, well, it's we'll our first day of group coverage. We're the series of BTS 2. It's IG Vitality taking on OG. I'm Kyle for being Mr. and Marini. OG take down IG Vitality game one. Mixing, but. <laughs> okay. I mean, they, they were able to kind of, you know, not analyze the situation. They recognized. Oracle got to go, so they made Oracle go, <laughs> and then they just did their business being able to kite around and work around this fan. And they took one bad fight in like the last 20 minutes of the game. I think it's uh, none of those other fights really looked that close, but some stuff happened in between. Last game of this game, firstly, IG themselves clarified that Cherry yes. is indeed their sponsor. Cherry is their sponsor, would not have known it otherwise, but cool. I don't know. Now we can theory craft, they didn't say what is it? Is it a soda? Is it a candy? <laughs> is it a lip balm? I'm saying lip balm. Maybe they make keyboards in Cherry Switch. Keyboards. Oh, Cherry Switch keyboards? That's a good one. Maybe they make official cherries. You... IG, you have to send us some cherry Do so we can find about, out like, what it is. All these uh, tourists in China, they just get like mega swindled out of everything. They just have like fake everything. Like, what do you mean? Fake eggs. Just like everything that you could imagine that you could possibly fake, they just sell them fake because that's just, that's just how China is. What would a fake egg omelet taste like? like... Just fake everything, dude. Okay. It's all fake. It could no no no. It could be fake. Could be fake. If they're trying to swindle tourists, which is a very common thing. Oh would, yeah, I would imagine so. And the second thing is that the admins for MDL are very patient. I mean, I we we have to often admin our own BT series, and I have frequently have to deal with players who are not really there. You're just kind of like, hey hello hey hello coin flip heads or tails heads or tails heads or tails. And you can't really just be annoying because you got to be respectful. Not these guys. <laughs> They're like, ready, 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 ready. They spammed it in all caps with question mark multiple times. I'm like, dude, the game aren't they at that land? Why don't you just go over there and ask them? They're ready. Look at booth or whatever. But nonetheless, the players are ready. Their admins are probably fake. I mean, yeah. Fake egg ag admins, sure. We'll go with that. This game might be fast, at least. OG get the first pick drow, so... That's nice. So anyways, the story I wanted to bring up uh, for Inflame here. So have you heard what Inflame's nickname is? Too enlightened. So before I tell you what his nickname is here, where do I find this? Here it is. So apparently he was in a pub and he played against Ferrari 430, right? In the mid lane. And he crushed him. And Ferrari's just like, dude, how come you can't play like that in the matches? He's like, nerves. So now he has the name Nerves Bro. So apparently in China they add the name they add Bro to everything. Have you heard about this? It's just Gu. Gu is like Nerves Bro. It's like when you say like your brother is Gaga or like I don't know like an elder friend is just like Daga. You just add. I don't, I don't, I don't know if Bro is like the correct translation, but Nerves I, dude. I guess it is. Nerves yeah. So he's Nerves apparently. It's just like guy. I don't know. It's. <laughs> Guy, I think, is probably a better loose translation than bro. Bro, bro in uh, English makes it sound like you're kind of chummy with the guy, right? You're yeah. Really friendly, but it doesn't necessarily have to mean chummy in, in in yeah. Chinese. Oh, so know. it dude, could mean it dude. could mean it could mean disrespect. Oh, I mean, dude, dude is probably better. dude can mean anything though. He could be like, dude or dude, dude. I don't know. I guess it could be something. But like, like that. toilet dude, I think is a more way more fitting translation than toilet bro for there... like Macumba man, right? There are a lot of worse nicknames though too. There's a guy, there's a new guy on Vici Gaming, the new Vici Gaming named Ghost. They just call him Ugly Ghost. <laughs> and I want Jack. Why do they call him Ugly Ghost? Is he ugly? Like I have seen and confirmed, he is not ugly nor a ghost. <laughs> and we're like, okay. <laughs> Thanks. But apparently, they've been calling him Ugly Ghost since Dota One. <laughs> so he's an old ugly ghost. I really want to watch him play, though. He's like this new up and pub star for VG Gaming, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about OG versus IE. After picking up Drow, they get the Oracle, the most precise uh, support in the game. 
Oh, I want to know since I have you here and since PA was banned, so it kind of makes sense. Have you seen much of the uh, position PA? I heard about it. It's nutty, dude. Because as we know, Orb of Venom unique yep. attack monitor is gone, so it's just dagger with Blightstone and Orb of Venoms all day, and you just can't get away. It's just uh, absurd. We the saw Lil. Slow do it. uptime is really high. It's way too many daggers at once. It was. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if you see more of it. I don't know if we're gonna see it from any of these guys, but I'm sure I would it's welcome. Not it. that great. Oh come there's on. A, there's a lot of plus movement speed stuff. There's a lot of purging stuff too. I don't know. It doesn't do that much damage. It's just slow. It's like upheaval is not OP, even though it slows ridiculous amounts. It's according not... to Fliff, it is. So, uh, according to some people, it is, but in competitive, it is not proven to be relatively strong. Even the stats say one thing, but. IG though, get Grep Life Stealer here. I don't see a normal vehicle for him, so I would be a little concerned about the movement. I don't know if you can solely base on track movement as your best way of getting in and out of stuff. They he could always get a puck at the end. It's okay if he gets kited. If he gets kited, that means the drow's not doing damage. So, like, all they need to do, they wanted to hear they can get on top of the drow range. They banned out PA, they banned out Sven, high physical mitigation heroes that can easily get in melee range uh, Drow Ranger and Life Stealer is another one. The problem with Life Stealer is he doesn't actually have any physical mitigation. He doesn't have that great armor and Rage is only magic immunity. So if you have a lot of physical damage with like ETR plus Drow Ranger plus, I don't know, let's say like a Wind Ranger or something in the mid lane, I guess he, she's not really that um, hot right now. But anyways, any high physical damage uh, range hero in the mid lane, you can actually just kill the Life Stealer. But if Life Stealer actually gets on top of the Drone Ranger, maybe hopping through the Solar, maybe aid of track move speed, then you can disable the marksmanship and be a tank more so than anything else. A, a marksmanship disabler. Why not consider getting something instead like... I want to see more of like the Winter Wyvern grab to respond back to the Drow. Like they, they committed for this Witch Doctor, it's not like he's going against a, a Beastmaster or a Nature's Prophet or you need the Coconut for any particular reason, so you don't know how trustworthy the stun it can actually They'd be. They lose their lanes way too badly. You Winter, think so? Winter Wyvern is like not a great uh, solo support. Like Arctic Burns is like way too long a cooldown, he doesn't have super high range and Bay Hunter is going to be roaming around the map. And then you have melee as well. You don't want their offlaner to like be really really strong. Oh, is that a Nabic, you think? I thought that could have been a pretty decent pick for Vitality. I mean, they're hoping for mid lane grab and something to help out with Lifestealer kind of getting towards Drow and setting ever things up. Ever since Wings ran uh, like the Puck Quap Drow Ranger strat, I think that more teams are like kind of opening up their draft to rating more heroes in the lineup, and I tend to think this is actually S4 Puck. I was just gonna say, I'm like, or Yes, they're just going to give S4 S4 heroes and put in the off lane. That kind of also work in the off lane. They should. It works. Yeah. I mean, Puck off lane wasn't like a mainstream kind of a thing since like, I don't know, like it was like Star Ladder like 11 or something, but... It was a drought strip that That's has been true. used before, and I, like, Puck has always found, had a weak place uh, at the, this TI. He lost a lot even prior to that, like during group stage, he lost a lot. That's because people kept him in the mid lane. In the mid lane, you need to hear the skills better with farm. The mid laners are more often than not the position one nowadays, as opposed to the position two. So Puck, you don't really as your position one, but as a position three, where he doesn't need that much farm, he can always go to the fights, and he doesn't have to skill late game because you have two other heroes that do, and you even have Jarl, Ranger Aura to make skill a little bit better, then I think uh, that's the perfect place for a Puck. Yeah, it definitely works uh, appropriately for this kind of lineup. Uh, yeah. The Bounty Hunter kind of running around doing his own thing, I don't think she's going to be under too much trouble in the laning phase. I mean, Huskar. whereas normally, uh, what, well, Ban on Huskar? I mean, no, I, I always forget about that hero. It's kind of like Brood, you just forget about it, and then you, boom, Huskar. Yeah, for oh, the most like, oh, part, God. yeah, I mean, most people, it seems like they've kind of covered their bases in the second phase. Certainly, if there's going to be like an Orc or a Dazzle or anything of that nature involved in the first phase, you got to you take the Huskar out as a possibility. Same, same thing with Sniper, you don't want to get Snipered. That one out of every hundred games. Cyber, I would say, is definitely much more rare. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like, uh, I don't know who's picking that hero now. Uh, it was, it, wasn't it? it? I think it was one of, the, one of the Chinese teams did it. I mean, a few yeah, times. Super still plays occasionally, I, I would guess, but Super still playing in a different world of Doha. But here we have Medusa come out. We also saw this earlier today in the hands of actually Super. So could still be a mid lane grab. Yeah, that's mid lane Medusa. Mid lane Medusa with Drow. Yeah, that's great. I mean, that's we saw plenty of that TI. Normally, you look at Drow Ranger Lab, and you're like, I think I get this done in like 35 minutes, so she's gonna expire. But hey, Medusa's like an insurance policy, I'd imagine. You have late game now. 
She's also just really good in the mid lane. There's not that many heroes that can actually deal with a Medusa with a Drought on. She's extremely hard to gank in. Bounty Hunter can like tickle her, but then you get a snake thrown back at you and you're not gonna have that much mana. What about like an OD or something? I mean, go to overall against a Medusa. Could be able to hold okay in lane. I OD's alright, but I think OG were actually the only teams that were running OD in the past. Oh, like, what? Couple months. I've been seeing OD plenty. Uh, I've not seen that much OD at all. Oh, come on. There he is. There he is. Yeah, OD has definitely been seeing a lot of day, and here he continues to see the, the good light. Well, I haven't seen that much. I. At TI, I only OG him. I was... At TI, yeah, I will say. I think since then, suddenly people have... He's not against that OD. Bad. Well, Illusion Gaming is still pretty prominent, so he's good against that. But, I don't know, maybe they still... Middle laners to still... Pull out and be... I don't know. I, I To be honest with you, I know it's just the BTS series, and like it was like Tier 2 European teams, but based on the Dota I was seeing, I was being pretty nice variety. I mean, hell, there was like five Pudges throughout that series. It was... I've been seeing, uh, you know, good depth, but I don't know, we'll have to see. Sakata, Outworld Devourer, no tails actually on the Medusa here, so, okay. I, I don't saw... know if that changes things or not. I'm, I'm not sure. I think for OD, I saw a fair amount of OD versus Medusa back when the ulti with the Ags drained the mana, or back when the ulti drained the mana, but since they changed it to, like, cast Sanities, then... Yeah, I don't know. It's still like I like I like the int range though for sure. I mean, you get plenty of int just like bopping away on a Medusa. It doesn't seem to go down. And you can just throw it under and kill her teammates. So the options are going to be there for IGV. We'll just have to see if it works out that way or not. It is indeed going to be what looks like an S4 offlane puck. I mean, see that that is a rarer sight to me than just seeing an OD in general. Offlane puck coming back in, but can't really fault us for for being the one to kind of really bring it back here. And the matchup and what looks like will be possibly the Witch Doc Life Stealer. Uh, I suppose the Bounty Hunter is not going to be hanging around that area too much, so a two v one shouldn't be too much problem for him. It's just you know it's that thing where he doesn't he can't Iron Talon. <laughs> well, it's all you see the offlaners like a uh, Iron Talon that much anymore. It got popular for a phase, and then people realized, oh, we're giving up so much in the lanes and the jungle, and we're losing all three lanes. It's just not really worth it for them anymore. The fact though, is really good versus the Life Stealer, really good versus the Bounty Hunter. He's the hero that can stay in the lane. He can pressure Life Stealer if the support's not there. The support is like constantly, like has to be there to make sure that the puck doesn't give uh, the Life Stealer too hard of a time. So I, I like the pick here. Dogfights will not get the ruin the second time straight. He tried that last game too, and unfortunately will not be able to, to get the snag up on that one, and will take his business back and below, all the way Ooh, deep into the offlane here. The one clarity build. You usually see a two clarity build, but he opt for a branch instead. Oh, he's trying to be cheeky here. Is there is a sentry in the hands of Jerix? He drops it down. Dogfights was looking to pull the creeps, and OG are looking for first blood now. Nice stomp and nice grab. They had pinged him out sooner than that, too. They kind of had the idea he was running that way. And they were in the right place at the right time. Don't actually think that's that bad for IG. The oh, the creep wave still gets owned by the tower, and they aren't going to be able... Maybe they can pull the trolls? If they can pull the trolls, then Star is going to have a really tough time. It looks like they want to. They want to at least secure this lane. But double melee versus lane, I don't know. I don't know about this. We'll see if things work out for him. Hey, heads up, guys. I'm going to restart the stream. Apparently, we're having like some weird FPS thing happening. I can see it on the preview, but I don't know why it is. So let me restart the stream, guys. It'll take a hot second since there is no delay. So don't fear. And then, and, and. come on, exploit, you piece of... Let me just make sure this is offline. And we're missing action, I know! Jump in for dogfights, they will get it. I have restarted the stream, we'll just assume it's all good now. In July though, gonna get slowed up from a couple of cold heroes here after already losing his bounty hunter, he's gonna get the crush off. And he's gonna try to slide out, but they get a nice connection with the Zen. But that will be the end of it, he's too far, too fast. And OG will just settle for a secondary kill here, leading off for a decent start, 2-0.
An unusual way to play Bounty Hunter for sure. He's playing the bottom <laughs> lane to not lose it as opposed to win the other lanes harder. That's generally what you see Bounty Hunters do. You're like, okay, I can kill the mid lane or I can pressure it really hard and I, that way I can force the supports to leave that safe lane and then you kind of not lose the safe lane that hard. But the way he's playing, he's died twice, he's given up first blood, and now they're still able to utilize the pool. Slaughter is only level 2 at the moment and... No yeah. tail dead. Maybe. Oh my god, he pops up the mana shield, the man lives on, the Maledicts are still there, they managed to get another tick in, that should be good enough to do it, and he will pop! Wish Doctor gets the last nod on that one, and he gets, he's laughing and getting and hasting his way out from that murder scene. Two to one is going to be our trade, and... At least he bought three TP scrolls. <laughs> Wait, what? What? That's what, that's what you do typically on a middle laner. You, you, you can buy a circlet, you can buy a TP scroll, just uh. use all your gold before you die. Uh, it's not that big a deal when you're low, you only lose what, like, it's like Costco special, gold. it's fine. You'll definitely make use out of them. Yeah. you like you'll toilet paper and things. aluminum foil. You'll have a use. Just get a, sh a shit ton of it. It's not a big deal. So, I'm going to try again to restart. Sorry, guys. I'm going to change the settings so that maybe it'll be a bit better. I don't know what's going on, but I'll, I'll try my best to fix it. Got Dakota. I don't know. I don't know. The technology and numbers here. I'll get it fixed, but I'll wait until there's possibly no more action. I, I fear for S4, but... It looks like he will be good. Nap piece of shit! They up this. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Have mercy, I think for Beck. What is happening to the internet? <laughs> All right, my Dota is attempting to recover from a brain aneurysm here.
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. All right, hopefully if I hit certain buttons and turn some knobs correctly, we should be back and live and good for OG versus Invictus Gaming Vitality. I'm back with Ben. Ben, you have been in the game watching it on our other computer. That works wonderfully. How are things going here? I'm just trying to get back in and kind of get my bearings back. It looks like OG have been able to string together a couple extra kills, including this recent one, taking down an auto position paparazzi with a nice dream coil. Oh, you got to unmute. It's all Jarek for the last six or seven minutes. Uh, he has crushed his bottom. He's gone for a few attempts to kill the Star Dart. He's been lucky to escape with zero deaths thus far. They've taken down a tower bottom, but Jarek has just been nailing kills in all the lanes and making this bounty hunter respond to him instead of the other way around. Jarek's pretty good. Jerry's just played a lot of Bounty Hunter. I think he knows how to manipulate one. No Tail could be a little bit of trouble, but he's going to be popping the stone just now, and that will allow him to make it away. Paparazzi doesn't care about being petrified. He's having to continue trucking on in. Gets a few knocks on the S4, and now they're thinking about stomping on in. Dogfight's coming from behind. Tries to go for the deny, not going to be able to get it. Radiant, get that last hit. And now, uh, investing up. I don't know if IGB want to kind of continue moving in, but look at this, a smoke back play from OG. Looking to wrap up and around because they are going to have a coil to work with. Let's see where they plan on going here. It looks like towards the mid lane. They want to get aggressive on that tower. Oh, yeah. Super is a free kill at this point if he tries to deny. Oh, he's coming in within July. And then he sees trouble and they look to go the other way. He eats up the coil, just him. And in July, can't find the stun. He gets silenced up. Nice rift kitchen there from S4. And it quickly leads to the execution of both of them. Jeez, that was... Perfectly played by S4 right there. Phase the coconuts. He silenced the Slardar as he was mid stun animation. And he used the orb to finish off the Bush Doctor. That was very nice puck play. And easy tower. 
Hey, my frames look better now, dude. I'm happy. Nice and smooth. All right. That's how technology works sometimes. Ana, meanwhile, is going to be able to chew through a very nice stack. Uh, both Lady Archers here, it looks like, are going to try to get a piece of it. Yeah, No Tail was stacking that earlier. I liked his efficiency in the middle lane. Like, 9.55, he stacked the Ancients and went to go check the top rune. So, uh, I don't see him get to play the middle lane too much on here that requires stacking. Just DK, I think, mostly DK, yeah. DP. It's not really like a TA player or yeah. anything like that, so that's true. Here, uh, Notel will get that opportunity to be more self-sufficient, but still obviously something that's on the minds of IGV. I'd love to be able to kind of get that bring down if possible, but it ain't going to come easy. I mean, Track Gold's online now, so if you're IG, let's get some kills, let's get some money. I'll lead him with an early bounty rune, but looking to go up and around here, possibly sweeping it from behind. Let's see what kind of approach they can make, but you got to be careful. Mid lane sentry is there for OG. Maybe level six, but Oracle is level eight. <laughs> what? Lord yeah. Have mercy. He is eight. That's fly Oracle. He is higher level than the Slardar. And it's three kills. Highest level out of any support in this game. So they can look for a kill, but that level four purifying flames is gonna be <laughs> nuts. Like he's just gonna shred through Switch Doctor, this bounty hunter, making good use of that BAT with <laughs> the Drow Aura. Really though, too. I mean, even the laning phase, it's just Oracle's so nice to have along with the Drow. Well, and uh, they'll be able to easily clean out that tier too. It's looking good for IG, I mean. Eh, they got Roche. Just losing towers one by one. I mean, have they confidently oh, gotten Roche? Are, oh, it's taking no. a lot. It's taking a long freaking time. Jerex is on the way. This Roche is only a little halfway dead. Okay, they have the ward down. They see dogfights and him alone. Okay, okay, S4. Orbs, Scouts, sees it's there. Jarex is rushing in. He's trying to get the spear close enough. No Tail popping out the stone gaze. Versus all of them to turn back and face the wall. Don't do this to us. Valiant DPS will save the life stealer, but oh, they will also be able to make a quick escape from OD. Man, they jump ship so fast. Fly was able to K a really couple of kills there on his Oracle, but nonetheless, still all, all OG for this. IG make it out with their Aegis, but OG are going to be walking away with yet another tower, it looks like. Still can't fight. They don't have to blink Slaughter. He might have to sell his quality way to do this to stop this onslaught of Drow Ranger buffed heroes. Yeah, this is this is now a stampede. Bottom lane we go. <laughs> All right, IG, what are you gonna do? I think they're just gonna have to accept the fact that they're gonna be stuck without any sort of outer towers here. Will they even take a tower this game? I mean, oh gee, not if they have any say. Tier two down. I mean, it looks like the four staff, or the four staff is done. I mean, a hurricane pike recipe is is there for for Ana now. So, all for for yeah. the plan here for G. That is one of the best items to deal with the life stealer, and I don't think they're going to expect her to have it this early. But she doesn't actually have it yet. It's still in base, and this it's on in July, ready with the split. Go, baby, go! Jump up on the Jarex. Nice bailout by Fly, assisting with false promise. And, uh, well, they'll Astral to make sure they lock him there, waiting for the duration. That will be enough to pop him. And IG will be able to get a kill. They're looking for more, though. Big Valiant jump in from in July. See you later. <laughs> okay. A bit too far from uh, from his friends. And uh, they can pay the price. The coil was used <laughs> for it, but all right. That's what happens when your Oracle is overleveled. Imagine that level 4 purifying flame it's nuts, just destroyed dude. him. I'm not sure if he had sprint on, but it certainly looked like it. He's got 17, 800 gold. I wonder if he's going to just get a blink dagger, you know? Suppose you could. Does he need one? I think he can just get aether. I don't know, dude. If he can afford it, blink is just so much cooler. But he could also he's going to go force. Yeah, force yeah. is way better versus It's the, more uh, responsible. I will give it that because, you know. You can not just help yourself, you can help others. Especially kiting around someone like the Life Stealer. Yeah, Life Stealer versus 2 4 16 minutes into the game. Eh, actually, Oracle doesn't have his yet, but he will have it soon. Yeah, they're going to have the same problem as last game where their one position can't do any damage. Yeah. Even though he's farmed. Really, no easy targets here. Ooh, you can't really take it back. I just like too much goodness through. I mean, I've seen two games now with Jer Jerex Elder Titan that's just doing too much work. I don't know if they're putting so much value in this bounty hunter, not enough value banning out the Elder Titan or picking it for themselves, but I don't know, maybe something to consider 
reevaluating. I think they just always draft better team fight. Oh, you do. Like they're, coil plus stone gaze, like BKB or not, or rage or not, rather in this game, like you're gonna have a lot of issues actually getting to Drow Ranger on top of that ET stomp uh, plus the Earth Splitter. Yeah, the ET I, I guess is uh, a pretty big problem. Um, but overall, their team fight just much stronger, and you can't actually get to them to do the damage to all stop the market ship from coming. All right, need to get model down. If not far from G, guys, look to make their own approach to this mid lane. But again, just kind of walk their. See, I was missing. He fight. This is way better. Be showing. I don't know where it is. Could be sitting on that for right now. Ah, guy can jump him. You don't yeah. think that could be where he is. <laughs> Great. And all you do is go back to the fountain. Suddenly, big mine. All yeah. well, wonderfully. It's kind of like a mix of tools. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He could do that at the point now. But he also could get farting. Get to play a little bit safer and soon. But I don't know. He just as an oracle. He could be. Sitting behind, but as you just get in, you're not. We have a bit of pause as a dip on us for his immediate return. It should be too long because this is a, a long term. As he's right way back, we're going to get under here. We'll play. Coming up, I believe Odie Drow will be taking the, best. Uh, the winner of both series. Okay. Uh, get this match set up, but Puck is grabbed first. The next rush puck. Oh, I, I mean, four staff came pikes, you know. I'll help. Pop the cold, pop it. Sweet. Done. Big piece. Oh my god, not seen it. There's gone. Duck crush. Vehicle thin here from IG. The man of no tail. Just in the last set of the case. And first before we. Fred Pete now is going to cost the ages now. And now the retrace. Image. He's gonna have himself up and away from Trump. Next card, we got from Trump. Uh, now, Pop Hunt has to get the hell back. Nope. Let's hope to make chase here. Okay, Pop Hunt. Well, again, accidentally or something. Now, for the armlet top on his way out. Oh my god, he's on Kenny. There's a helpful. Oh, oh no! Again, on the Was that his fort actually with the freaking freaking trigger? Been it. It's OD. He's he's yeah, he's way, but it like kind of ruined it. I thought with the, the toggling. So I think Jerex could have also developed more. Like when the, he just uh, when he was really and he could drop his ulti, then it got an easy OD already. Because he went ahead, he's really not going to be able to. Uh, so much really in the fights. Big bit, final on two, duck fight. We think we'll get the flat right in for survival. Oh. We'll pull out just. That's gonna be now slow. See how and dress two. I can want to live on. They're gonna have to pull out some sort of hold. Let's take my top of the right now. Coming is gonna be forced off back. And walk his way back to the zone. Oh dear, get the full trigger and go in. Comes out. Fortunately, it's short lived. It's going to take this uh, follow up to the drop. It takes out six. And then Pop Ross, you get the two. And we're going to kill If he's out, Tony, and it's okay to take the rest of this series. He might have been short one. Real. Oh, and that is not slow speed. I don't know what that is, but. Dude, they, they truck down these towers. I mean, the seven damage they can take, I just had to find a way to stop them from casually moving on thin and doing other things. But as you can see, they, they could and it's good enough. Oh, gee, just so long. And they're gonna be here. It's going down, is just even more money. No, Scotty's be done for S or Axe, probably. He's been getting old ball. He can actually tell that he's taking much damage. He's dead.
Oh, for IG. Drawing board up. Go. It's too time. It does not seem very likely. Buckets will go up. Plant down a little port so that they can try to get some division. Ultimately, it'll be sometimes. I mean, I played some weight out for the Roche. He just pulled up a but Playing a save is. I think I wrote it. I think the other one was IG Tell the three kills and you get picked by core. I think it would be pretty good from this point. I think that happens. They're okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spot cool. Where's that top? And Ron went to the bounce. They crossed the path with the rest of IG. Gow, the low ending. Snap on the suck at the night. Take him down. No, the problem. Crosses there. Paparazzi tries to force himself out. Oh, he's deep. Not gonna happen. Another clean fuck for OP. Yeah, well, the game. Play, though, like, so this will be out. It's just because the alpha of the four down onto the, but they're all like I think they're all the same here at the same time. Like OG's teamwork is like one out of like three. Them for the team fight. 